a declining empire, Brussels insider calls time on EU project as Juncker's dream decays. European Union chiefs are desperate to suppress dissent rising among its ranks, according to a Brussels insider who has predicted the downfall of the bloc. Estonian MEP Igor Grazi has argued the bureaucratic, idealistic 27-state club is about to fall to pieces, despite its leaders trying to long to power in their towers in Brussels expecting the union to crumble. The MEP said it is now a question of whether the bloc will break in gradual fits or in a single blast according to Grazi, referendums would have been more widespread, but there are thousands of people in every country dependent on the commission and professional nomenclature he said. Like other declining empires, the EU finds itself suppressing internal opposition. What is notable is the combination of the nature of the dissent, and the environment in which it operates. The EU is driven to relabel its democracy to justify its rearguard fight. The MEP described Brexit as a progressive change and highlighted multiple movements growing against the Brussels bureaucrats he wrote in the Telegraph, there is sufficient evidence to suggest that the further decay will continue the same way. Professor Grazi who was also a member of the last Supreme Soviet of the USSR, argued the EU no longer makes sense. He highlighted the continual bragging about peacetime in Europe by the EU, yet there is widespread terror and there have been dozens of attacks he wrote, keeping the peace on the continent failed in Ukraine, Georgia, the Balkans, Transcaucasus, and massive terrorism is a war de facto. With the strictly egoistic interests of individual countries in play, accompanied by a certain set of historical accidents, the Commission is no longer fit for purpose. On the rise of the far-right Professor Grazi said the bloc has played a public relations game labeling those who seek to oppose their ideals as a racist Professor Grazi said, meanwhile the system itself discriminates against corrective free speech. Political correctness and the EU generically labeling critical democratic forces as extremist, far-right, or far-left, both lead to self-alienation through their nomenclature. Ministers who meanwhile stand up for sovereign rights and democratic concerns against the center are subject to abuse and attack finally, the ideological constraints on the use of police forces a wariness to act against truly extremist circles at the risk of being labelled racist, or the refusal to prosecute illegal economic migrants as simply illegals, has become an additional risk element. And the single currency was also attacked by the MEP who said the euro serves a minority in the EU and contributes towards unfair business practices the Estonian argued Brexit has not started the dissent but that it is a result of already growing discontent. Professor Grazi, a law professor and commentator said in his Telegraph article, Brexit is then not a special case, but just an event in the EU's decline. We previously saw the Arab Spring, and one day we will look back at the autumn of Europe EU leaders like German Chancellor Angela Merkel and head of the EU Commission Jean-Claude Juncker deny the EU has been rocked Mrs Merkel said she was frightened for the future when Brexit hit, but her faith was restored by the defeat of French presidential candidate Marine Le Pen and the election of Emmanuel Macron however, since her comments Macron has upset Germany, Italy by pushing his French agenda forward trying to make Paris the new London despite the wishes of Frankfurt and vying to put his own ministers in EU top spots thanks for watching please like share and don't forget to subscribe English news hub for new excited videos